Heading out for day five, the final racing day of this star class centennial celebration. Race time temperatures in the low 60s, broken clouds and easterly wind about 18 knots. To say it was an interesting day on the water, an understatement. Of the 80 boats registered for the centennial celebration, only 49 finished race five. Waves, choppy and steep, some topping out about five feet, made for a true test of strength, agility and skill today. It was tough for all sailors. Some, though, used it as a training ground. Today was uh, windy, uh, big waves, really big waves, um, and uh, really you know, perfect conditions, really, for us, uh, because in Perth it's supposed to be windy, too, and big waves, so we're training for that. Mark Mendelblad and Brian Fatih, the top Olympic hopefuls for 2012, went into today's race way out front on the leaderboard. Sure, they had fun out there today, but their main focus, minimize mistakes. There's always frustrations, even when you're winning races, uh, you're still making mistakes, so uh, we're trying to get better, so we're definitely being hard on ourselves, but um, it was fun at times. For some of these sailors, these weather conditions were the most ominous they have or will ever sail. For some, though, it was just a big playground on the water. More than one boat battled to stay on the water with broken masts, snapped riggings, and even a death roll by Team Bainton and Rogers. That is what brings people to the star. More than once this week we've heard it's a physical boat, but it doesn't matter what age or what level you sail, the star is fun in the water. It's an exciting boat, it's got a lot of history, there's a lot of top level sailors in it but you can compete at any level. You can compete in a, a fleet level, you can compete on a, a higher level, whatever you feel comfortable with. And a lot of these guys will never do an Olympic campaign that are here and they're just gonna keep sailing. It's physical, but uh, there's a lot of technique involved, um, which, which makes it easier to sail if you have good technique. Um, and, uh, but for sure, strength is really important and uh, being agile as well and able to move back and forth and, front and back is, is really important for the crews and just being able to hike hard is important for the crews and the skippers. With much ceremony and tribute to not only the star but also the star sailor, race organizers gave the gun to each team crossing the line in race six. While Mendelblatt and Fatih took home overall top honors, it was an incredible end to festivities for everyone here on Long Island Sound a celebration of the star class, 100 years and sailing strong.